good morning I'm gonna start the morning off with looking at that big blue camper it's been what six months well anyways I did get the uh, materials to do it now I just got to find the time because it's it's summer uh, but right now I gotta go out to my garden put this cardboard down oh. and uh, use it to help prevent weeds but you know what I know I know oh it's gonna fall does anybody else do this type of stuff anyways what the hell is am I talking about right no, not does anybody else do Copenhagen, but. Talk like, and do like anybody's paying a damn attention. Oh. All right. The wonders of having a golf cart. Hi, chickies. And my garden, our garden, me and Mrs. Price's garden, is popping. It is popping. Did I tell you it was popping? It is. It's popping. Our zucchinis are coming on. A couple there. They've gotten really big. Our shallots are looking pretty darn good. Our euchanasia, that's that purple flower, it's looking pretty good. We still have some... Remember I showed you a little packet? I don't know if I showed it to you. I think I did. It's called Pearly Everlasting. They're coming up. Look at these beans. I had to put another fence over here. But this is this is gonna be crazy. You got something growing here. These things are about to explode. These pepper plants right here. No, I didn't grow those. I bought them like that. I bought a flat for five dollars because they were all dying and I figured. What the hell, why not? This oregano. I gotta cut this parsley again. My tomatoes. Some of them. They look beautiful. The parsley here, or, or cilantro, I mean, has just gone crazy. But my big tomato garden, is really coming on gonna be a lot of tomatoes a lot of tomatoes I've been trying to get plants started in here and it's just now starting to pop I mean <clears throat> They've been like for the last month. I honestly think I have about, I don't know, 60, 65. There's the rest of those peppers. I know they're small and all that, but we'll see what happens. My cucumbers. They're looking pretty good. My onions. Got some nice bulbs. Another tomato plant. There's red, yellow, and white onions in here. More tomatoes. All kind of pepper plants. I was having all kind of problems with 
slugs eating them. But they're starting to look decent. We've got more peppers here and more tomatoes and flowers and it's all coming together. These are cherry tomatoes. You know, those little ones, you just come back here and pop them in. I planted this a couple years ago. Asparagus, I don't know how it's gonna do. Don't seem like it's doing good. I don't know too much about asparagus. If you know anything, I'd really like to know about growing it, what you recommend. Another wild tomato. Lemon balm. And same thing with this rhubarb. It just, uh, I don't know, it just don't seem to be growing too well. I mean, it looks like it's growing big, but everything dies underneath it. Another huge tomato plant. Some more onions. And these are potatoes, you wait for them to start dying off. And I just planted some more cilantro in here. Just had uh, radishes in it. More. This is lettuce, gourmet lettuce, and these could be yellow uh, squash with beets that need to be thinned out. Because they don't grow good if they're... I'll get back to that one. A couple more of those little peppers. And that is Thai basil. This plant, it'll turn purple. Um, what the hell is that? Oh yeah, honeydew melons. And these are watermelons. They're taking a long time to take off. She's got some flower here. Some flowers there. Some more peppers. And these tomatoes. Some flowers, tomatoes, peppers. This is uh, chamomile. We planted some grapevines and uh, they're really taking off. I can't believe it. And then my buddy Brock, he gave us these uh, poppies. He said that his mother had a garden and a bird deposited some seeds and uh, Deanna, my wife, wanted one so he gave her some seeds and sure enough her green fingers uh, they took off. Got some lupin. These are strawberries and I can't even think of whatever else she's got here but she's got some Beautiful stuff. With trash. And little flowers. This was really beautiful. It grows all over this and has these beautiful blooms. But as you can see behind me, that pile, that's all the stuff she cut off of them. Her roses, kind of like at the tail end. And, uh, I can't think of what these are called. She cleaned this up too. Some more strawberries. More flowers and I think that was a 
oregano or something, I don't know. Her Thai basil here is looking really good in flowers. Usually this bed of mint is all over the place. But this year for some reason, I think it was because we had so much water in the spring. I think is why it's not doing so hot. We'll go out here and show you some of the other stuff we have. This is my pear tree. And I got some pears up there. But I don't think your pear tree is supposed to be this high. I think it's supposed to be bushy. So we're going to do something about that. Some ferns. And over here was my garlic. But I picked my garlic already. So. I planted a couple of tomato plants because I don't have enough and we're gonna see what happens here my neighbor gave me a that rain barrel so I dug all this up pulled the roots out fertilized it with bone mill and some uh, all-purpose um, fertilizer and I'm going to cover these And let them sit there till fall and then replant more garlic only this time I'm gonna use a lot of nitrogen there was just a deer back there something's back there eating and I planted more onions here and my son, the biologist, these are all native flowers from West Virginia and stuff. We planted them here. And here, we're gonna see how they take off. Oh, there's a hawk. I don't know if you can see him, see him sitting way in that little opening. Oh no, that's an owl. Well, oh, there's another owl. You see him? Let's try to get us closer. Oh, there's three of them. There's the other one. I don't know if you can see him. I can't zoom up. Try to get us a little closer. Hope you don't fly away. See him? Woo! Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> and these are some other things. I don't know what it is, what it's called. But the blueberries don't seem to be doing so hot at least that plant don't some more of those but look at this blueberry plant it's got all kind of them on there my son brought these and gave them to me he was given thousands of them to go plant and he planted them all uh, raspberry it takes a long time to grow these things so and that's my pump which I pump I know that sounded weird that's my pump which I pump water out of the creek some more chamomile it's nice having a creek right here beehives well these are also trees that he had left over from his 
planning thing, but I had to put this fence up, keep the deer out. But I got turnips and carrots here, which I just planted. And there's some yellow squash on that end. But these are all gonna be pumpkins. Well, not gonna be, they are pumpkins. Lasting. Hey, Mrs. Price, what are these called? What is it? Oh, oh, this? Oh, these are peppers. Are those those? Tomato or to, well, they're something like that. I don't know if there's anything in here. No. But that's it for the garden. I'll catch you back in a little bit.